problem. This is a sprocket with a 5 8 bore. That's the axle. It's a 5 8 axle. Or so I thought it was. So this axle is some weird dimension. I have, I have no idea what it is. I'm too lazy to measure it. Probably like a 15 millimeter. So um, yeah, that's a problem because now my sprocket's not going to be able to bite down onto that. Well, it can, but there's going to be a little bit of slop. See, if I do put this on and have the set screws bite down onto the flat side, uh, the sprocket will be offset just a little bit. So as it spins, it will tighten, loosen, tighten, loose, tighten, loose, tighten, loose as it's spinning around. So to combat that, I am going to have to use a shim and try to shim it up. Luckily, I have this little, little thin piece of metal that it is used for, the, for that white basket and I have two left over so I'm going to use these wrap it around the axle so I can then put it in, into the bore of the sprocket so that way it'll shim it up and it'll be tight enough so it won't have any slop in it hopefully these are probably probably 16 gauge they're really thin probably 18 it's real thin real easy to bend it Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers that that's just enough thickness to make this sprocket be snug on that, on that axle. So it looked like it worked. Thank goodness. That was a perfect size. Now there's no slop. It's very tight. If you run into a problem like this and if it doesn't, uh, if your sprocket does not fit well on your axle, that's what you're going to have to do. Luckily, these little tabs I had from that basket. But yeah, you just get some. 16 gauge 18 gauge little sheet metal and just wrap it around and hopefully it'll work hopefully it'll fit i didn't wrap it all the way around because this set screw's got to bite down onto the uh onto the axle and since this part is flat this this is where the set screw bites down you can see where where it, where it screws onto um if you had it wrap around here the set screw is going to bite down on, onto the uh, onto your shim, and it may kink it. It might not seat very well when you kink your uh, when you kink the shim. Luckily, there's also another set screw here, so I can screw it in and bite down from the side. I don't have to worry about that kinking because this is going to be pressed up against the axle. There's no flat spot on this side; it's just the tops, just the top area. So that's why I have a little gap here. I also have two. I gotta, I gotta cut this one still. I'm gonna have to have to get, have two of these because I'm gonna use this sprocket. This one's a lot, lot larger. This is gonna be the uh, the the first sprocket on the jack shaft. It's not gonna go on the axle. This one's gonna go on the axle uh, because this big guy cannot fit between the brake. The brake, uh, the brake drum, and the cassette—it will not fit. There's, it's too wide, so I have to use this little guy. This one's a little uh, thinner, which is okay because I'm using a jack shaft. This on the jack shaft will still get me enough torque to the axle. So I, I gotta bend another shim to get it in there. You know, one will be in the front, this one will be in the back. So I gotta, I gotta bend up two of them. Okay, disregard what I just said. I'm stupid. This one's going on the axle, so I just need the one. I don't need two. This is the one that I had a problem with. I don't know why I, I just got confused.
This gave me a big problem. I had to grind down a little bit from the sprocket just so I can fit this on here. It's a very, very tight fit. But I also had to bend this backing plate, bend it back so I can get it right up in here. So you can squeeze this brake. There we go. So yeah, that, that was a pain in the butt. So I made another mistake, looks good, rolls fine, but I forgot to wrap my chain back onto this, just great. I'm going to use that chain break tool to just break one of these, le these links off and then I'll wrap the chain around and relink it. I'm not going to take this apart, this was a pain in the butt to get in, and I'm lazy. Okay, right now I just have it mocked up. I'm just looking over and seeing if everything seems to be clear. And it This is really tight, but I don't know if you can see how tight that this area is. Hopefully the chain doesn't rub. And this spot right here is a little tight. It's not touching the top part though, so that's okay. And I'm gonna have good alignment right here. That's pretty much how it's going to go on. I'm going to put the chain on and measure the chain, see where I got to cut that chain. And I lost some good pair of pants. My pants ripped. Well, now I got a breeze. But anyways, I'm going to get the chain on. I got to measure it to see and how much chain I need. So hopefully I have enough for it. I'm going to measure it and cut it and go from there.